How's it guys? All right, um, I am going to show you how I did the uh, the slow motion um, with uh, Final Cut Pro and Twixter. Uh, let's get started. You want to go to GoPro's website and download the software, which is a free software, and I'll give you the URL on the description of this video. Um, once you download that, open it up and take your GoPro video that's 60 frames per second or any GoPro video basically because the problem is GoPro is MP4 and Final Cut Pro doesn't recognize that and you gotta use some sort of compressor and this is the best one so far that I found and plus it's from GoPro alright so basically take your video that you want to convert over and just drag it over into the software once that's done um, go to file export to QuickTime and here's some settings leave everything alone just just all you gotta do is touch uh, change the quality to 100 percent and the compression which is here and you wanna change it to Apple Pro Res 422 make movie save it and remember where you saved it once that's done open Final Cut Pro go to file new project click on that and then you come to this screen right here okay next thing we want to do is open a new sequence so hold the Apple button down hit N and just name it slow-mo um, then we want to import our file that we want to slow down the video and also um, basically taking the the GoPro video and and bring it into Final Cut Pro so we can work on it so right click import file remember where you saved it at and boom is there okay so now if you shot it at 60 frames per second in GoPro we have to ch we have to convert it over we have to conform it uh, for Final Cut Pro and it'll make it much smoother um, so highlight the video um, and in Final Cut at the top go to view and open in cinema tools now click on conform and for this I changed it to 25 frames per second but you can see that there's several different options and uh, you can you can choose whatever so um, once you do that conform it and then you can just close this out and once you do that the um, the frames have now changed over to the video rate is now 25 frames per second as opposed to 60 and it just makes it much smoother basically you're utilizing the 60 frames per second now um, if you didn't do this it, it's almost it's not as good so do that now um, double click on your video your videos here um, hopefully you guys know some basic Final Cut Pro editing um, I'm not really gonna get into it too much alright so basically this whole clip I just wanna I'm gonna I'm gonna use the entire clip because I already cut it down so hit the F9 button that will send it over to your sequence um, alright so now we have the sequence um, I'm gonna move the playhead to where I want the slow motion to start so if you look over here you see this is where I'm diving in so that's where I want it to start at so hit the B button that brings up your blade tool hold the option button down and cut it here. The reason why I hold the option down is because it only clips the video clip and doesn't clip the audio. Um, turn off your audio by the way because it, Twixter doesn't doesn't change your audio so there's no point in even having it on. It just wastes space and, and memory. Um, now move the playhead over to where you want the slow motion to stop. So I want it to stop right about there and if you look over here uh, you'll see that my feet are just about to leave the frame so that's where I want it to stop again hit the B button brings up your blade tool hold the option button down click on the video now your video is cut into three parts you have the um, beginning part uh, the middle portion which we're going to slow down and then finally the ending uh, sequence right here um, we only want this part to be slowed down so move this over take this video clip and drag it up to the top and once you do that once you do that you will see that there's two videos now but um, the way we know uh, the one that we just brought up is, is the one with the shorter duration which is three seconds 
um, 3.21 there. So now you have to go into the slow motion sequence that we created earlier. Double click on that. Once you do that, it brings a blank sequence here. Drag the lower, this, the, the video that we just brought up, which is here. Remember, just look at the, the duration, it's three seconds, and drop it into the sequence. Once we do that, um, once you do that, you're going to get the video clip that we're going to slow down down here in the sequence. Um, but this clip right here, it's three seconds. We're going to slow it down to maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. So in order to do that, Twixer, it doesn't manipulate the duration of it. So th the way we have to, to work around that, I guess you would say, is um, we have to extend this out. And the only way to really do that effectively is to copy this clip here and paste it a bunch of times into the timeline. So hit the hold the Apple button down, hit con Apple C to copy it, and then hit the Apple V to paste it. Apple C, Apple V. Do that a bunch of times. Keep doing it. So you can see how long it's it's going to be. If it's too long no no worries because we can always cut it at the end so it's rather it's better to have it too long than too short because if it's too short then you gotta come back in here and you gotta add more and it's a real pain in the ass so um, just make it too long and then you can cut it at the end alright so once we do that go back up here and double click on your sequence again your first one and now go into the slow-mo that's the sequence we just created copied and pasted it many times drag that down here in the timeline um, here's the old one remember we we brought this up delete that because we no longer need it and you can see that this clip that we copied and pasted it just it's just basically the same clip over and over and over again um, move the ending portion all the way at the end down here and then the middle part drag it in the middle all right hopefully you guys have followed me I, I've been trying to go slow but I'm trying to make it quick so this video is not too long alright so once that's done um, now we can start adding the effects to it so click onto the effects in your browser up here and go to your Twixter 4.5 drop it in to the clip and um, highlight the clip and then normally we would double click it to the and it brings it into the editor but it doesn't work when you nest videos and clips so just hit the return key and it brings it in to the filter up here so here it is click on your filters your Twixer 4.5 um, plugin is here uh, don't mess around with the stuff too much um, uh, what you want to do is make sure that the frame frame interpret is at motion weighted blend you can click on smart blend um, just mess around with it see you know I don't mess around with too many things but the smart blend and also um, image prep image prep also I, I I leave it on contrast edge enhance again you can you can play around with it so now what we want to do is change the speed so I changed it to 10 I come back down into the timeline and then once you go back into the timeline you'll see that of course it needs to be rendered but you can just drag it and you'll see that your clip is starting to move and you'll notice if it's going to be too short or too long now if your clip is too short if you notice you drag this and you keep on dragging it and all of a sudden your clip ended and the slow motion took too much time because it's it's, it's too long there's a couple things you can do you can change the speed here to 20 30 percent um, but if you really want it to be slow, then what I would do is just go back into the slow-mo sequence. Remember where we copied and pasted it several times? Well, that's not long enough. So what you got to do is you got to make it longer. Um, the fastest and easiest way to do that is just highlight one of the uh, clips, hold the Option button down, and once you do that, drag it over one. And you can do that a couple times, and it will extend the sequence. It'll sh extend the duration longer. So once you do that, you go back into your sequence. Now it's going to be longer, and then hopefully um, the the uh, uh, clip is long enough for the slow motion to go into effect and 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 do everything. Uh, for me, this is actually too long now. So 
again all you have to do is just use the see it started up again that's too long so that's all right because I'm just gonna back it up to where it started over again and then just bust out your blade tool and cut it remember hit the B button hold your option button down click it all this is garbage it's too long bam it's done so now now your slow motion is um, long enough and uh, we have to render it out so I'm gonna pause it once you render your video you'll notice that um, I guess the uh, Twixter did its job and if you did it correctly then it should it should work so hopefully you got everything you needed in this tutorial if you've got any questions um, just send me a message and I'll, I'll try and help you out uh, add music to it of course because the music is what really makes it cool um, I don't know what you want to do with your original audio I deleted mine because I don't really need it but yeah, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this this plugin I just I just started using it yesterday so I'm, I'm gonna be doing a lot of different stuff with it but um good luck with it and uh, thanks